Um, no, that's a great question. That, um, and if you have the mobile mic, can you turn it off and hand it in? Uh, Andrew, it, do you have the mobile mic on? Yeah, if you would. Okay. Um, well, um, the first of our special guests is here. So, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me enormous pleasure to welcome to this hall the former Secretary of State, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Welcome, Secretary Clinton. You have the podium. Thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how pleased I am to be here at the Mars Society Convention. And I'd like to personally thank every one of you for the contributions that you have made to our national space program. You know, <laughs> when I was a little girl, I wanted to be an astronaut. Yes, I really did. I had a, pro a, a few problems physically with being able to meet the requirements, and apparently also, you know, I have a few problems with my scalp. What? Who invited you? Schlonged in space, <laughs> Getting schlonged out there. Okay. okay. It's sad. It's really sad. Okay. They got first-rate beachfront property and they're wasting it at Kennedy Space Center. Okay, it should be a resort, and it shouldn't be named after John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy was a loser. Okay, they call him a hero. What do you get called a hero for? He got shot. I prefer presidents who don't get shot. Okay, okay, okay. And, and before that, okay, he was a PT boat captain. He got sunk. I prefer PT boat captains who don't get sunk. So, who would you have named it after? Okay, well, uh, we're going to call it Trump Space Resorts. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna make it a real class joint, real class. Okay, panda skin carpets, gold trim, top rods for the hostesses, I mean top. Okay, okay, you know, look, these guys don't know how to run a space program. I know how to run a space program better than all the astronauts, the astronomers, the rocket scientists combined. No, Donald, you don't. How are you going to run a space program if you turn KSC into a hotel? Well, I got this friend, Vlad, okay? He's got plenty of rockets. Okay, he's, and he's a, 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 a people, they, they don't like him, but he, I know him, he is a great guy. Okay, for a good time in Moscow, he is definitely the guy to see. Okay, uh, he, he, his, his new wife is this gymnast, and she is, 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 she is hot, okay? She, she can do things. Uh, in all my travels, I have never known anyone like her. What, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Okay, uh, let me correct myself. Rarely, I have rarely met anyone like her. There was also Carla Bruni. Uh, she was married to the president of France for a while. Uh, she was pretty good. And, uh, and Jackie Kennedy, she was hot too. Uh, I get a lot of that. Women are attracted to power, are attracted to me. Uh, did you know that I have slept with every first lady since Jackie Kennedy? Donald, really? <laughs> Just stop now, please. Uh, whatever. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to meeting more of the world's top broads once I become president. The French always have someone pretty good, and there's this new Japanese empress and a real hot British princess. You know, I, I know more about broads than any man on earth. No, Donald, you don't. Okay, uh, but I don't know what I'm gonna do about Merkel, though. Um, Maybe send Mike Pence or Chris Christie. What does this have to do with space? 
Well, as I said, okay, Vlad's got a lot of rockets, okay, and we can get them, no sweat, just to make, need to make the right deal. You gotta have a deal maker, okay? Okay, and here's how the deal would come down. I take a cool trillion from the treasury, keep 90%, then pass the rest on to Vlad. He gets to keep 90% of that, gives the rest to the rocket guys, which will give us all the rockets we need. You're going to keep 90%? Okay, uh, that's my standard cut. Um, <laughs> For the deal to work, everybody needs to get a piece of the action. I think that the IRS and the GAO are going to have a problem with that. Yeah, sure, lots of losers always have problems with my deals. That's because I'm a winner. You gotta be a winner in this world. We're gonna make America great again. We're gonna win, we're gonna win. Okay, okay, but don't worry. I know more about taxes, budgets, finances than all the experts at the IRS and the GAO. No, Donald, you don't. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter, because when I'm president, our space program is going to make money, lots and lots of moolah. It's not going to cost the taxpayers a dime. You are not going to fund the space program with your profits from the Trump Space Resort. Uh, duh. Okay, that goes for me, okay? <laughs> then how are you going to do it? Okay, uh, by doing stuff that really needs to be done and, um, Okay, uh, and that pays. We're gonna stop it with all this science crap and build a wall. Not another wall. Okay, uh, we need a wall, okay? A wall to keep out the space aliens. Do, do, do you realize that 99% of all rapes done in the United States are done by professional rapists sent here by the government of Zeta Reticuli? Would you believe it? 99%. I find that very hard to believe. Would you believe 98? No. <laughs> well, we need a wall, and I'm gonna make the Zeta Reticulans pay for it. Believe me, they are going to pay. Believe me. How do you think you're going to use a wall to keep out the space alien? Okay, by building a great wall, a beautiful wall, a huge wall, okay? The kind of wall my friend Kim Jong-un would build. You know, all the losers are down on Kim Jong-un, but you don't see any illegal immigrants flooding into his country, do you? Okay, okay. Or North Korean companies going to set up shop in Mexico. Okay, that guy knows how to run his joint. When I'm president, I'm gonna run this joint the same way. Believe me. I believe you. Well, he's a great guy too. Uh, do you know we had the same hairdresser? That doesn't surprise me at all. Well, I want to send humans to Mars. Yeah, sure, that would be wonderful. Wonderful, but we gotta fix all the potholes first. Donald, there will always be more potholes. Uh, duh, that's why the deals for fixing them are such mints. Gotta see the good fellas get their cuts first, then maybe we can work out a deal for Mars. Well, I really, really support the space program. Did I mention that when I was a little girl, I really wanted to be an astronaut? <laughs> but. They weren't taking girls. I think there need to be more opportunities for women in the space program. I think there needs to be an all-woman ISS crew. Well, I could see it, but the film rights won't be worth anything unless they are hot types like Melania. Uh, did I ever tell you about me and Sally Ride? Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Ew. <coughs> Uh, Hillary, you're coughing. You're coughing. Okay. Uh, are you okay? What do you say? What do you say we go to my plane and have a few drinks? Okay. I could sh I could show you my etchings. Then maybe we could have a little give and take for old times sake. Oh. Oh. Really, you are a basket of deplorables. <laughs> Still with that, huh? Well, you know, Hillary, while we have our differences now because of this campaign, which only one of us can win, which naturally can only be myself, but I want you to know I've got nothing personal against you and your family, especially Bill. Okay, I've really always liked Bill, and I never understood why everyone went after him for his bit with that Mel Lewinsky chick. In his position, I would have done exactly the same thing. Oh, I believe you. Ladies and gentlemen, and live from Washington, Washington D.C., it's Friday, Friday night! night. <laughs>